Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. So welcome to another uh, cross path comparison video where I'm going to analyze uh, in detail with uh, some numbers uh, two different cross paths to show you guys which of the two is best in uh, different uh, scenarios in your gameplay. Now today I'm going to be analyzing a tower that has been uh, bath in this last uh, patch that is the attack zone. And now the attack zone itself has been nerfed now it has uh, less pierce and less range but what has been buffed is the middle cross path now with the middle cross path especially the second upgrade you gain uh, a lot more range and you gain more pierce so um, before this last uh, patch uh, 205 tag zone was always stronger than 025 and so it wasn't um, it wasn't even uh, like a, a, an idea going with a 025 tag zone but now that it's, uh, it's a little different, uh, well, I'm gonna show you guys what other things I was able to find out by doing some testing. As always, monkey knowledge is disabled, so I'm removing every external factor. And let's go into sandbox, and let's see this uh, tower in three different scenarios, against a single balloon, against a group of balloons, and against DDTs. So that's normally the three um, things that I compare the two craft paths and so uh, to have an, an idea. So let's start. I'm gonna place these tag shooters always closest to the top and to the left in this corner. So I'm once again minimizing RNG by the positioning and all the stuff. And let's start with the 205 uh, tag zone. So let's go to round 100 and let's play. So as always, what I look at is uh, the pops. So this number up here. So you can see now the range of the tag zone itself is much smaller than what it was before, if you guys remember. And, um, and yeah, the top cross path, you really gain just attack speed, so it's more attack speed. Instead, now with the middle cross path, you gain more range and also more pierce. So that's those are the things that you gain with the different cross paths. So let's see which one is uh, uh, best. All right, and I think that's gonna be it because uh, it's not gonna be able to, like it doesn't have enough range to uh, to attack the BD down here, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. All right, so total pops here, 17.7 thousand. So just remember this number, and now let's compare it with the number that we get by placing a zero to five uh, tag zone here. So you can see, especially with the second upgrade, the boost in terms of range and also more, more uh, pierce. So let's go again, we run 100 and let's see. So you can see less attack speed, of course, but uh, uh, yeah, more range and more pierce. Against a single balloon, pierce, I guess, is not really that important because pierce comes in play when there are multiple balloons in the screen. Uh, so uh, yeah, right here, uh, you're just gaining more range. Uh, the PRC is not really uh, helping. But uh, now with this extra range, I'm pretty sure it can attack the BD in this last corner. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. But it's already looking pretty distant. You can see here 8600. So it's uh, less than half. And uh, that's it. So 8,900 pops. So you can clearly see that 205 tag zone is still strongest against uh, single balloons. So try to imagine round 40, round 60, 80, 100. Um, it's gonna be better. Even if with this upgrade you gain more range and more pierce, still having more attacks it seems to be better to do more uh, DPS. Now let's test uh, in another round. And in this round, we're gonna really see uh, the new buffs because now I'm gonna test on round 98. Normally, round 98 is the round I take for multiple balloons. Here, piercing is very important because you have many, many balloons in the screen, and so piercing becomes uh, uh, can really change how many balloons you can pop. So let's take a look and let's see. So again, always dropping the tag the tag shooters in the same spots so in that. Uh, top left corner and just letting it to attack and not really 
doing anything. Alright, and uh, yeah, that's it. Because I'm pretty sure, again, the range is just not enough to attack the balloons right here. Let's just wait to be sure, but if it wasn't able to attack the BD, I'm pretty sure it can't, uh, it can't reach this uh, Domegat. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Let's take a look at the pops here. 131,000. Uh, Alright, almost 131.2,000. So, remember that number and let's compare it with a 0 to 5. And now we're gonna see if these piercing buffs uh, on the middle path now makes it viable in uh, uh, in the gameplay. Because remember, each single tack gets more pierce, so it means that it can damage more than one balloon, uh, and so uh, that's why when you have many many balloons in the screen, that's why it can make a difference overall. And in this case, I think I'm gonna have to wait until the very, very end because I'm pretty sure it's gonna reach the Zomegat uh, right here in the corner. So I should uh, should be able to do a little bit more damage. Yeah, here we go. All right, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So um, let's take a look at the pops here. 132.7 thousand now you can see a huge turnaround now the reason there is almost no difference between the two cross paths so 205 or 025 now have like roughly the same amount of pops this one is just slightly better uh, but uh, like over 130 thousand pops I guess 1000 of difference is almost uh, non uh, non significant in terms of difference, and yeah, so you can see that now these huge uh, buffs in terms of range and pierce comes in uh, handy once you have many balloons in the screen. So uh, so yeah, this is very very interesting, you know, to find that uh, now uh, there isn't much difference between the two grass paths. Now I'm gonna analyze. Oops, just one more scenario here. So against the this. And, uh, and then I'm gonna just uh, tell you guys uh, my conclusions. I just need to give here camera detention, so I'm gonna just get a 0 to 0 village. Both of these uh, attack shooters are gonna gain extra range, but because they both gain extra range, then um, yeah, it's gonna be counted in. So let's try first 205. You gain, you have, uh, uh, you can pop all balloon types with the tag zone, that's why you just need camera detection and not uh, MIB. Alright, so again in this round you can see there are DDTs but there are also other balloons so I guess a little bit of piercing also could uh, could be helpful. So 55 point, uh, uh, yeah almost 5000 so 55.5 thousand and let's, uh, let's compare it with uh, uh, the other cross path. Alright here we go, 0 to 5. You can see also that the tags are much less concentrated uh, with this upgrade, uh, with this cross path. So that's also a pretty interesting detail to note. All right. Yeah, I can't really tell uh, which one is destroying more balloons. Maybe the other one was damaging a little bit more the ceramics, the other cross path. And yeah, and you can see here the total pops, 51.7 thousand. So. In this case, uh, 205 is uh, um, a little better than uh, 025 because here we have uh, almost 4,000 uh, pops of difference. And but once again, like there isn't much, much different. Like it's not like it was for the BD, like it was double pops. So uh, so yeah. Now final conclusions after all this testing is that uh, now 025 uh, could be viable. Uh, so could be used because uh, remember guys like there are many many few rounds on a real gameplay like imagine chimps right 100 rounds on chimps there are many few rounds where you only have 
a few balloons on the screen. Most of the times, you're gonna have many, many balloons in the screen. So uh, the peers that you gain with the second cross path is, uh, is actually a lot more useful than the, uh, in this case, the, the attack speed that you could gain. Now, there isn't much difference. So if you consider overall everything, because even when there are a lot of balloons, 205, it's still not so, not that much worse than 025. It means that most likely this one is still the best upgrade to go because you gain, you have both good uh, uh, DPS against group balloons and then also the best DPS against single balloons. Uh, but now the main difference comes in terms of range. So if you're playing on a map where you don't really have a good spot to place your attack shooter, uh, having more range may mean that you can actually cover more of the path. For example, here in town center. Uh, I, I think that now the fact that zero to five is not that much worse means that, for example, in a, in a map like this one, right? If you just get a, um, a zero to five attack shooter, now you can target this path right here, the middle one and this right one, right? So three paths. Instead with the other one, you can see that you can only target one so the middle one and then a little bit of the right one so uh, i'm pretty sure that now zero to five tech shooter could be used in all those maps where you need that extra range of course you can boost the extra range of the tech shooter uh you know with an alchemist with a village with like primary mentoring so you can still boost it but it's always going to be uh less than the range you would gain if you would have the middle path and remember, there isn't much difference against group balloons now. So, yeah, I think uh, I think now it's uh, it's available. So, depending on you know, the the situation, you may want to go with a uh, a zero to five attack shooter rather than a two zero five. So, uh, so yeah, that was it for this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see ya. Bye bye.